go back to the bath one second. Um, and again, the technology is is pretty direct and pretty simple. You described to me a few of the athletes that you've treated, mm -hmm. and it's been a game changer for them. So who comes yeah. in? Why are you saying jump in the bath? How long are they in the bath for? And what's the impact? Um, so you're one that's in the public domain recently, um, uh, it, John Jones, you know, when he was preparing for his fight, I think he fought on November 16th of, of last year was his last heavyweight fight. Um, he was in Tending to retire uh, initially after that fight, I, I sat next to him at a UFC fight in the Sphere, um, and, uh, and he leaned over and, and, he, and he put his hand on my my leg. He grabbed my leg. And I was like, "Oh God, <laughs> you, you do whatever you want, bro." <laughs> like, <laughs> and uh, and he literally looks he looks me in the eye and he goes, "You're uh, you're a man of God, aren't you?" And I said, "Yeah, yeah, I am." And he said, um, "I feel like God put you in my life at this moment." Um, I really need to talk to you. And I, uh, uh, and he's put this out in the public domain. And um, when I spoke to him, he said, listen, I'm, for the last 12 or 15 years, I just wake up every morning in excruciating pain. I mean, he's a division one wrestler. He was, you know, he more beat, time, up, he beat up his body a lot. He's, he beat up his body. He's the greatest uh, heavyweight, maybe, maybe one of the greatest fighters, according to Dana White, to ever, to ever live. Um, I, I believe that. Um, and he's an absolute gem of a human being. Mm. Um, he's an absolute gem of a human being. But um, so I, a, a few weeks later, I flew out to his uh, fight camp. Um, and when he told me about how sore and achy all of his joints were, and he was up in slow time recovering, and it was taking him a long time from waking in the morning till he could start to train. And he was only training five days a week, not six days a week. So he's taking two days off on the weekends. Um, I introduced hydrogen water to him. So you're thinking this is whole body inflammation? This is whole body inflammation. If you think about where we get inflammation, you know, the majority of this is going to focus in the in the areas of the least – the most compromised blood flow. So ligaments, tendons, um, bones, cartilaginous surfaces, joints, areas where, um, you know, the muscular tendinous insertion, that area where you don't have a lot of blood flow. You yeah. know, you don't get a lot of soreness in your – um, muscles, if you're used to training, but you get a lot of joint soreness and you get a lot of tendon ligament soreness and you get a lot of chronic inflammation in those areas. Well, if you can get uh, hydrogen gas, which you can to go transdermal and reduce in that inflammatory process and improve circulation, which it, there, I'll also give you the links to some of the, um, uh, you know, grade one, grade two sprain strain injuries that they treat with hydrogen water versus the RICE protocol, the rest, um, ice, mm -hmm. grass and elevate. Mm -hmm. And um, how hands down transdermal hydrogen uh, was more effective than ice and compression and elevation. But long story short, John texts me a few weeks later and he's like, man, I can't believe that I'm waking up not in pain. pain -free. I'm adding a sixth day to my training schedule. And of course, he went and dominated his fight, which I take no credit for. Um, and he's announced that he's going to continue fighting.